Okay, guys, yo, 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 what's up? Welcome to our Elkar's channel. So today I'm back, and guess what? We are going to do the unboxing of the Nintendo Switch Splatoon Pro Controller. So basically, I think it was released like last three years ago, but uh, you know, I just bought the Nintendo Switch like last month, and then now I'm going to unbox my first Pro Controller. So basically, here it is so yep there you go so this is the splatoon pro controller so i bought this one around the uh, 2600 but around like that one or if i'm not mistaken around 2400 so basically yeah you can see here nintendo switch pro controller yep there you go so of course the splatoon over here and you can see that uh the grip is a totally different color so it's like a neon uh, green and neon pink and of course yeah when i try to open later you will see the detail of the controller itself so let's try to find out what it is so of course you can see the logo of the nintendo and uh, at the back you can see that uh, you can uh, try to uh, use it on the tv mode and of course you can use it on your portable in case that your switch is uh, right there and um yep be below is uh, just simple as this one and of course on this side is just uh, some information and yeah uh, this is what it looks like so now let's try to open it for you so i'm very very excited because um i'm playing this one this one is a camera right there i i almost uh done but i felt like when i use my joy cons i felt that i will destroy it so i need to uh, use this Pro controller soon and also in the Mortal Kombat 11 is super um, what do you call that one uh, intense when you're playing it so when I try to press the the buttons I felt like I will really destroy it so yeah anyway okay so it's just like this and then we try to open it so okay there you go so yep this one is a, a cable for it so they have like a free one so i think you know it already and uh what is it in the box so basically that's it like literally it's just a controller inside so let's try to open it for you okay yeah of course this one's very soft whoo i'm so excited wow like this is really, literally wow so uh, okay so now what I can see is like the grip is totally different and you can see there I, I will uh, take a photo for you guys so you can see there that uh, you know uh, this one on this side is of course again neon pink and this one is a neon green and um, yeah there is a lot of details on this one like you can see the splats of, of fear there there a lot of splats over here and you know personally I didn't uh, notice this but uh yeah there is uh the characters is inside much more detail so i'm very sorry because i'm just using my you know cell phone right now to uh, uh video this and i cannot wait to check uh, on my uh, camera dslr so i just want to video it on my unboxing and of course you can see at the back like uh, the nintendo logo and uh yeah of course a lot of splats and like there are like characters over there so yeah and let's see oh, okay let's try to remove this plastic over here okay it's very 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 smooth so you can see it here where you put the, the cable so there you go so this one is a close-up look of the pro controller splatoon edition and when you try to move it you can see much more detail of it so you can see like uh, there's splats over there and of course like uh, the Nintendo Switch in the middle and of course like there are characters over here and there are texts that you can see and everywhere there's like a lot of designs and you can see here the texture of this one is quite different so it gives much more grip so you can see also on that side so the detail of it so if you can see it on the back yeah so at the back you can see that there is also a lot of details so you can see that there's a text there are characters of course the nintendo over here 
and then there's like information over here so yeah it's, it's very good that's why that's why i said like you know there's a lot of designs of uh this one that's why i really like it you know i i have um trying to check what is the first pro controller that i want to buy but i saw that this one really looks good so yeah if i will uh, try to uh think about it like it's totally different when when you're using the uh what do you call that one for the joy cons and uh for this one if you can see of course i i used to play uh playstation oh, oh my gosh no i'm just kidding well anyway so okay yeah this one this one's very comfortable for me like ever since for for the xbox they have like i'm a little bit uh, uncomfortable but i can feel like you know it's almost the same with this so yeah what i can feel is um uh, it's very very uh what do you call that one very good when you try to uh use this compared to the you know joy con of the mario edition and then yeah because uh, normally i need to use like r3 and uh, l3 on on this one so i need i need to do it like that one and of course it's super soft like literally you know it's super soft and uh, of course you can see there the x a b and y over there and of course like if you want to screenshot you, you can uh, try to just click this one and of course the plus and minus uh try uh buttons over here and of course the arrow key the arrow key is uh you know quite good as well and it has the sound right so basically you can see here of course like uh, the battery life at below and uh yeah i think that's it so uh, personally, I want to buy the Splatoon as well, but um, maybe I'm going to wait for the Splatoon 3 that uh, they're going to release by the end of this year, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I still got like a couple of, uh, you know, uh, games that I need to unbox, like uh, maybe around uh, 20 plus games more. So try to keep on watching my channel and please don't forget to click the red button out there, which is the subscribe and please don't forget to click the like and maybe let's try to use this one personally uh, i want to use this one so i can uh, try to do it over here so maybe i can see if it's like uh you know it's really good so i will uh, try to show you how it works okay so keep on watching we're not yet done now we are going to try to set up the splatoon pro controller so as simple as this we just need the cable and of course we need the pro controller and i will try to get it first but before that i'm going to use uh this one this one is uh, my mario edition so let's try to go here first and then i'll be going to use this one so you can see here this is my cable that i'm going to use it and this one is my pro controller so Let's try to put this one first on this area. So as you can see it there, and then I'm going to connect it to the dock. So there is a USB cable that you're going to do there. And just wait a moment. So yeah, there you go. I'm going to do this. Actually, this is the first time that I'm going to use this because this is my first Pro Controller. So anyway, so basically i already tried to connect and you can see that there's already a power over here so now what are we going to do this time so we just uh, try to click this one first so i try to click over here that uh, this one for the sink so let's try to check it out and yeah it's already there so you can see super fast like you know i just uh, try to click the sink and it's already there so as simple as that actually i i, I thought that you know it will just uh, show first that the settings and all so maybe i will check this controllers settings so you can see it already that i already have the controller over here and I already have a pair new controllers so if you can see everything is already done and you can see that there is already the battery uh, life of uh, this one and now let's try to use it if it's really good so I will uh, try to play this common rider 
So I'm actually I'm already playing it uh, earlier, and maybe I will uh, try to put the sound for this one, and let's try it, okay? So okay, let's try this if it's really good, okay? Oh, it's really cool, you know. Personally, it's really cool. So I will uh, try to check this one first because it seems to me that this one is still uh, connected and then I am going to... Oh, it changed! Okay, so change the grip. Ah, okay, so you need to change the grip first and then I will do this one. L plus, okay, there you go, it's already there. So now after that is... Just press A. Oh, that's a ah, this is the one that I'm telling you earlier. Okay, so now let's try to start this. This one's very good. So if you're planning to buy it, sorry, there this will be a little bit spoiler because I'm already almost done. So let's try to check first. How was the review? You can see like around 18 hours that I'm playing this. If I'm not mistaken, around 18 hours. So, okay. I'm excited to use this because seriously, I need to use a lot of a hold to play this game. Because if you want to run, you need to press the hold. And I'm doing that all the time. Like, literally, imagine I'm playing this one for 18 hours. So, most of the time, I need to uh, press it, like that hold. So, let's see, let's see, let's see first. So, there you go. I'm playing right now. So, you will see that I'm holding. If I if I if if I do this one, it's just uh, not fast. So, okay. Oh, it's nice. Like seriously, I think the buttons is much more the X, A, B, and Y is much more bigger. And uh, let's see more. Okay. Ooh. By the way, this game is really good, you know? Really, really good. So, by the way, this is Kamen Rider. Kamen Rider Memories of Heroes. Woo! Oh, this one is really good, like seriously. you can see because yeah that's that's uh what i can say here i think i think it's really good and um that's what i said the balls are bigger so that one is a uh, much more better and yeah the haptic uh vibration is really good as well so i can really feel it and uh yeah let's try to look for the enemy okay so now, by the way, in case that, uh, you know, that you also have a Nintendo Switch, which of course, that's why you're watching right now, or maybe maybe you're planning to. So, just uh, try to comment there, that what type of controller are you using? So, maybe, uh, you know, we can discuss it. Oh, okay. So, anyway, I don't want to spoil you more. So, I'm going to stop this one. But seriously, as, as fast as that one. Like, uh, you wanna try to just uh, use it and then switch and all this stuff, trying to sync. Like, you just go and do a uh, click this. So, it's really, really easy. So, I, you know, I highly recommend that, you know, you really need to buy a pro controller. Because before, I mean, you know, my friends uh, are telling me, like, uh, you know, you need to buy the pro controller. So, I'm like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I mean, I don't need to buy it. Like, it's quite a little bit pricey. As what I said, it's like around, if I'm staying around 2,600 or 2,400 baht. But now I, I can I can tell that, you know, this is quite worth it. Because seriously, the, the grip is very good for me. It's really, really good. And uh, I, th I think it's really, really cool. So personally, I, I, like, I like this so much. So I think this is very, very worth it. So again, guys, goodbye and see you again.